Welcome to Make Easy. This tutorial is for pattern printing in QBasic. In my previous five videos, I explained you about different types of string related pattern printing. You can watch those videos to understand that. Now, from today, I'm going to start number pattern printing, numerical pattern printing. So, my first two questions are here. So, in this pattern, what we are printing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 5, next time 4 times 5, next time 3 times only, next time 2 times, next time only 1 time. So what we are doing here in simple, we are just uh, printing 5, 5 times, that is there are 5 digits here and next time what we are doing is we are removing the last digit, that is this one 5 and remaining 4 digits will be printed next time. Look. And in the next time, we are removing this again, the last digit, and only three digits will be left. So we are printing that. Again, from here, three digits, we are removing this last digit, and remaining two digits will be printed next time. Again, after that, we are removing this last digit from here, and five, only one digit will be printed. Until one digit is left, we are printing the value. So we are repeatedly doing the same thing, just removing last digit, last digit, last digit. So then we need to use loop. So in this program, we are going to use for loop. If you don't know how for loop works, you can watch my for loop video. I have explained that already. Okay. Next one also, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the number. First time we have printed this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as it is. After printing, what we are doing is we are removing the last digit. Again, last digit means this one. This 5 will be removed and remaining 1, 2, 3, 4 will be printed next time. Now from this, we are removing this 4 from here last digit again we are removing last digit and we are printing remaining one two three same again three will be removed and one two remaining will be printed from here two will be removed and one will be printed here so until we are getting the only one digit we are printing the number so but how can we remove the last digit of the given number because repeatedly we are doing same thing that is removing the last digit how can we do that to do that we have to use integer division n equals to 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. This is the example. We have 5 digits here. And if we do any number, integer division 10. Integer division give question. You can just divide and check the question. But the formula is to remove the last digit. Any number, integer division 10 will remove the last digit of the given number. Number can be any. It will remove the last digit. And it will return remaining value. So number is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 n equals to r equals to n integer division 10 and means this is the value 5 5 5 5 5 integer division 10. This means we are dividing this number 5 5 5 5 5 with 10 and whatever the question will be remaining question it will be the answer and we are doing integer division 10 it means it will remove this last digit and remaining digit will be answer 1 2 3 4 4 times 5 so our value will be 5 5 5 5. So in this way it works. And we are doing this how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Again here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we are printing this 5 times. We are doing the same thing 5 times. So what we can use? We can use for loop. For i equals to 1 to 5. That's it. Let's do it. I will go to the QBasic screen now. CLS. Basically number is equals to 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Now. I will use your for loop for i equals to 1 to 5 because we are printing this pattern 5 times so i equals to 1 to 5. This for loop will help you to execute same line of code again and again. That's depending upon your choice. If you are writing here 6, so it will be executed 6 times. If you are writing here 5, then 5 times because we want only 5 times so I am writing 1 to 5. Then what I want to print? I want to print the value of a that is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. First time I want to print what 5 5 5 5 5 but after printing i want to remove the last digit that is this one 5 so how to remove you know integer division 10 so what i will write here is a equals to a integer division 10 in this variable a what i am storing is a integer division 10 that means 5 5 5 5 5 integer division 10 so that will be this one 5 5 5 5 remaining four digits will be stored in a after printing then after that i will write here next i and then end then 
So how this program will execute? Let me show you the dry run first. Okay. So I'll take new slide over here. Okay. I'll paste the program. Okay. So I'm going to make a box for storing the variable value. So we have one variable A and I, next variable. So, okay, A equals to five, 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 fine. And I equals to initially one. Okay, so A equals to five, 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 this is here, and A equals to one is here, fine. Then for I equals to one, so I value will be one, and then it will go here, print A. So in the output screen, what will be printed? Let me make output screen also. This is the output screen. Now in here, 55555 five, five, five will be printed. And then after that, A equals to A integer division 10. Inside A, what we have? 55555. Five, 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 five. So integer division 10 means remove the last digit. So it will remove the last digit and remaining value will be available in A. So A value is now 5555. Five, five, five. Next I. Next I means value of I will be increment by one. So I value is one before, now I value will be two. Next time means value of I will be incremented by one. Now, when we come to this next I, it will go again back to the for loop and it will check. I value is two, fine, because we are doing up to five. So I value is two, this is true now. When this is true, it will come here, print A. Again, we are printing the value of A. So value of A is now four times five, 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 five. So this will be printed in the output screen. Now, after printing, after printing, what we have here is a equals to a integer division 10. Now, value of a is 5555. Five, five, five. So, just remove the last digit of this number. So, 5 will be removed. So, remaining three digits will be here. That is 555. Five, five. Again, next time. Next time means value of i is already 2. Now, increment 1, that is 3. And when we go to the next i, it will go again back to the for loop and check. i equals to 3. Fine, because we are going up to 5, so condition is true. It will print again, print A. Now value of A is 3 times 5, so it will print here. 555. Five, five. This is also done. Now, after printing, again, A equals to integer division 10. As you know now, integer division means remove the last digit. So 5, 5 will be remain in the A. Next time means I value will be 4. Now 4 means it will go here and again check. 1, 2, 5. So 4 is in the range. Condition true. Now again it will print. Print A. And now value of A is 5, 5. 5, 5 is printed. After printing again, A equals to A integer division 10. Again, remove the last digit. 5 is left. Next time means I value will be incremented. So let me write the value of I. That is 5. It will go to the for loop again and 1 to 5. And I value is 5. Condition again true. Again true means print the value of A. Value of A is 5. Look at here. 5. So 5 is printed and again printing after printing a equals to integer division 10. Remove the last digit and we have only one digit 5. So what we should do? Just remove it and there is nothing that means there is 0. A value is 0 now. Next time, next time means i value will be incremented by 1. We have 5 now 6. It will go to the for loop again. It will check the condition for i equals to 1 to 5 but we have here 6. This is not in the range. We want to print five times only, but I value is six now. When I value is six, the condition is false. For loop is false and it will go after the next I. Next time means after next I, the end of the program. And program is end and our output is this. So in this way it works. So let me run this program and let me show you whether it is working fine or not. I show you the dry run of that program. That is called dry run by writing value. Okay, this is giving exactly correct result what we want. Now let's do some changes. Now I want to print this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Again, we are doing same thing that is removing the last digit. Whichever the number is here, it doesn't matter. So let me go here and let me change the number only, nothing else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Done. Let me run the program. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 percent. And how many times we are printing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is fine. I'm using here for i equals to 1 to 5 and number is changed. First time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and next time integer division means 1, 2, 3, 4. Last digit will be removed and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 and 1. So this is giving the correct result. So in this way it works. If you want to do dry run, same thing. Just you have to keep here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the place of that 
five 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 and you can do that that's your homework just try it now my question is next i want to paint up to six or seven or eight remember whenever you want to uh, use the number which i have seven or more than seven digits now the number which have seven or more than seven digits always use has before the after the variable name like this a has wherever you are using this a just use a has a has fine now we have here eight digits so what i will write here is eight let me show you here again okay so next pattern we are doing here is one two three four five six seven eight next time five six seven next next time three four five six next time one two three four five next time one two three four next time one two three next time one two next time one so this is also same but the changes is here in the number first time one two three four five six seven eight next time i am removing eight so up to seven removing seven up to six removing last digit that is from here six is removed so up to five four three two one but now count one two three four five six seven eight we are printing eight times so in the loop also i have to use one two eight and remaining theme will be same just run the program and let's see whether it will give correct result or not yes perfectly fine so it is giving the correct result so if you want to keep here nine so you have to use loop up to nine because we are dealing or we are printing nine times let's run the program yes great it is giving correct result now if you want to print pattern like two 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 like that so you can do that one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can run the program and first time two 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 nine times then eight times then seven six five four three two one so in this way it works hope you understand this video if you understood please click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends